Hi there. Welcome to the Water Review of the Week. For this week, the waters I shall be reviewing are... Smart Water. By that same company that makes vitamin water. It shall be on my left. On my right, Harvested Rainwater, by God. As you can see uh, in this review, unlike my other one, uh, this time, both waters are crystal clear. It's not murky, not opaque, they're both crystal, crystal, crystal clear. So even I don't know who the winner would be. Like last time I knew the winner was going to be um, Albertson's water because Tucson water had, you know, minerals. But here I don't know which one has which, so... Alright, let's see. Huh. You know, they both, they both look the same. Like last time I picked the uh, Albertson's water first because it, it didn't look, you know... It didn't look like, like, ter like you know, terrible. <sighs> All right. So, first up, rainwater. My God. All right. So it smells good. It, it, it smells like when it rains, that's what it smells like. I, I like that. Like me, my favorite route weather is rain. Like, I take rain over sun any, any day of the month. Yeah, this brings back good memories. And I feel like I'm gonna like this. Alright, so, um... Wish me luck. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, it does what it does. It quenches your thirst. Um, it you you could sort of taste like something else is in there, but other than that, it this is what water should taste like. Water, not not you know vitamins or minerals, just water. I, I'm pretty sure this water already run like already won. But in order to be fair, I need to test both waters. Uh, I know this is going to take a little bit more of our time, but it's, it's worth it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so... This one didn't have any packaging, so I didn't have to talk about packaging. It, it just came from up there. Like, you know, my homeboy was just making some water up there, and he's like, If I ever come back, don't crucify me. And then he just threw the water down here back again. Alright, so let's talk about uh, smart water. I don't even know why it's called that. Alright, so let's talk about this packaging. Okay, so the company that makes this is Glaci 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 Glacier? I don't know, it's something with a G. I don't really care. Purity, you can taste. Hydration, you can feel. Okay, I haven't read the ingredients yet. But if it doesn't say ingredients, purified water, they already lied to me. Alright. It is is it just us? Or do clouds get a bad rap? While we admit they're not as great to have around on a beach day as say the sun. I mean what the hell are you talking about? I'd rather have a cloudy beach day than a sunny beach day. I mean, there's already water on the ground, so why can't there be water falling out from the sky? God damn. Alright. <clears throat> Clouds are unsung heroes because they contain nature's purest source of water. Alright, so finally they say something that's true and not stupid. Alright, nice. So that's one for smart water, and negative one for smart water, so they're at zero points right now. 
That's why we copied our white puffy friends by creating, creating smart water. Okay, well first I noticed that none of the none of the letters in this whole speech are capitalized. They're all low, lowercase letters, so that's wrong. I mean, I, are they too poor to afford Microsoft Office? And also, they said copied our white puppy friends. I don't know, have they ever looked at a sky? On a cloudy day, the clouds are gray, not white. You know, white clouds don't make, don't make rain. They make like snow or something. <sighs> Smart water is vapor distilled, so it's in its purest original state. Well, I guess I guess this is just just H two O, purified drinking water. All right, let's keep on reading. But we don't stop there. We one up the clouds by adding electrolytes. Okay. So, so they had purified water. Th they were done. But instead now they, they, they add electrolytes. Now, now f some of you at your house, on your computer might be thinking, or on your phone, tablet, whatever, you might be thinking, what's an electrolyte? It's just a fancy way of saying salt. Like, that's all an electrolyte is. It's, it's just a salt. You know, if I wanted salty water, I'd just go to the Dead Sea and drink from there, but... I guess they're bringing that experience home. Alright, let's keep on reading, because this is kind of a long paragraph. Alright. It's a difference you can taste, unless, of course, you prefer the taste of stuff that comes from underground like spring water. Then, you're on your own. I don't even know where to start with that. Okay, so, it says, it's a difference you can taste unless you prefer stuff that comes from underground. Okay, what comes from underground? Alright, yeah, minerals. Minerals come from underground, so this tastes like underground water. At first, it tastes like rainwater. Like pure purified water, but then since they added the minerals, it it tastes like groundwater. So what's the point of processing this like cloud water if in the end it's going to be groundwater? Everything I read on this was they should be called stupid water. Like everything I read was just the dumbest thing ever. Oh, and also on the inside of the the, the raindrops you can like read something else. So let's let's read what, what's in there. Let's drink responsibly and re recycle. It's it it's all it's quacked up to be. And then there's a picture of a little duck. I don't know, can you see it from here? I'm not gonna get up to show you, but you could probably see it from here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Alright, well I I don't know, I like the picture of the duck. Uh but what they just said is completely stupid. Like the, the transportation it takes to recycle one bottle is about the same as making a new bottle. So I don't see what the point of that was. I mean, it's, it's just saying just making a new bottle and making an old an old an old bottle new again. It's the same. So I don't see what the point is. It's not all it's quacked up to be, like the bottle says. So there's another lie the bottle told me. Okay, I can't read the I can't read the other droplet because it's covered with water. And it just I can, f I can read the other drop right now. Okay. Vapor distilled smart water. Pure and crisp like from a cloud. Alright, so there there's another light. It's not like a cloud. Cause in, in a cloud like this water, it has no minerals. It's just H2O. And maybe fog or smog, I mean. That's it. So, so th the bottle, it should be called lying water. It's just full of lies. And, um, let's see. Yeah, it says right here on the bottom. Vapor distilled water. If they would have stopped there, this would have been perfect. But then they add, and electrolytes for taste. What the hell, dude? Water, water shouldn't taste like salt. Like, 
I don't understand. Okay, so that's zero calories per serving. That's good. Let's see. Made for Glacier, Whitestone, New York. For water quality and information, please please contact Glacier at one seven one eight eight seven Glacier seventeen through twenty Whitestone Express, Whitestone, New York. Okay, and, and literally none none of the letters on here are, are in capitals besides Glacier and the nutrition facts. That's it. I mean, can't, did, could they not afford capital letters? Um, Alright, let's read the nutrition facts. Alright, so serving size, size 12 ounces. Servings per container 4. So this is about 50.7 50, 50 ounces of water in this bottle. Amounts per serving. Calories, 0. Total fat, 0 grams. Sodium, 0 milligrams. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a lie, because they said they added electrolytes. Total carbohydrates, 0 grams. Protein, 0 grams. So, so far, this is good, because water shouldn't have any nutritional value, except for the fact that it, it wor it's, it's a solvent in your body for transporting, you know, whatever your body needs. Bottle design and label, trademark and copyright 2012. Okay, so I bought this today, but they're still using a Euro water bottle design. Maybe they should update more frequently. Frequently. Uh, let's see, the bottle itself. I I guess the bottle itself is good. It, it didn't spill. Yeah, it doesn't spill. It's all right. Um, yeah, I've been talking so much about the packaging because I don't want to taste this, but I, I guess I have to. Alright, alright, you know, normally I say wish me luck, but for this time I'm, I'm being serious because I don't want to die or anything. So, for reals, wish me luck, alright? Alright, so, it doesn't taste like minerals, which is surprising. Let me actually read the ingredients, because I didn't read them. Or did I? I don't know, I'm too, lazy, I'm too lazy to play back the video, so let me just, let me just read them out again. Ingredients, vapor distilled water. If they would have stopped there, uh, this would have been perfect. But let's keep on reading, since there's another 10 ingredients in here. Calcium chloride and magnesium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. Electrolytes sources. Added for taste. Okay, so the three electrolyte sources are calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and potassium bicarbonate. Two of them are chlorides. So, you know, that's why it tasted too clean. Like, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, water... Water should not be too clean. There, There's a limit. If it's too clean, then it just tastes terrible like this. Yeah, it, it just tastes terrible. I'm pretty sure this is just pool water bottled up. Like, this tastes like pool water. Minus, well not even, it tastes like pool water. Just like pool water. Like, and, and in, in, in the public pool, at least at, at Archer, Archer Center or whatever it's called. Archer Recreational Center. That the entrance to go swimming is a dollar fifty, and it's it's all you could drink water, right? As you know, as long as you don't pee in it, it's all you could drink water. Oh, sorry, it's because I'm outside. There's ants everywhere, and they they keep biting me, but it's alright. Anyways, uh, this 
is one and a half liters, so 50 ounces. And this 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 was worth uh, two dollars and fifty cents at Walgreens. Uh, there was also a smaller bottle of one liter, but that costed two twenty. So it was kind of stupid not to buy the bigger bottle. But then again, I I didn't even like it, so it's just gonna sit at my house, you know, doing nothing. Like I would put it on, I would I would water the plants with it. But I don't know, I don't know if they're they're gonna like dry up or anything. Cause um, you know after after the last water review, I came outside and I I threw wa I threw the water, the Tucson water on the plants, and I had I had a corn plant over there. I'm pretty sure it's out of camera. I might show it to you. I, I might not. Who knows? But I have a corn plant, and it, it got all dried up in one week since since last week I filmed this. So I'm pretty sure there was something in the water. So I, I'm probably you know I'm, I'm not even I regret throwing the water on the ground now, because I'm pretty sure that 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 soil is infertile. It, it's not fertile anymore. So if if I try to grow grow like a beanstalk right here, nothing would happen. So I'm kind of I'm kind of regretting my choice of pouring out water. Um, let's see. Yeah, this water just tastes terrible. So don't buy it. Like, you know, I'm I'm all for water and everything, right? But this is this is just terrible. I mean if if like if they would have if they would have just stopped at the vapor distilled part and not added any minerals or electrolytes, whatever they're called, this would have been perfection. Like ten out of ten best water ever, right? But no, they, they had to be smart asses about it and add electrolytes. So it tastes like shit now. And this, you know, yeah, it doesn't have the ingredients anywhere because God made it. I'm pretty sure if I took the time to read a Bible, the ingredients would be on here, on there. But I, I'm just too lazy to read the Bible, so I'm gonna assume the ingredients are purified water because it tasted like that. Look, let me just taste it to refresh my memory. Yeah, it tastes like purified drinking water. That's the only ingredient in this water I can taste. Anyways. I know I don't have the best uh, tongue or whatever it's called. Power, I think. Yeah. But yeah, you could you could definitely taste the uh, clean flavor. You know, let, let me. I'll take that that statement back. You can t definitely taste the natural flavor. And with this, with this, you taste the pure artificial flavor of water. And by artificial, I mean they added, they added like a bunch of chlorine, calcium chlorine, and sodium chlorine, or magnesium chlorine. You know, I'm pretty sure calcium, I'm pretty sure calcium and magnesium are good for you, but not calcium chloride and, and magnesium chloride. Maybe calcium carbonate is better, and magnesium zinc. I'm pretty sure those would be better for for water if it was just calcium, because calcium builds your bones. But they already have that. It's called milk. If you want to drink, if you want to drink something that has calcium in it, just drink milk. This is water we're talking. Water just quenches your thirst. No nutrients, no nothing. So I don't see why they added nutrients to this. Like, what the hell is the point? Alright. So, uh, let's compare and contrast. So, let's compare. They're both crystal, crystal clear glasses of water. Like, crystal clear. You know, I'm starting to regret this now because I can't drink this water anymore, but whatever. Um, I'll just ask God for more. Uh, let's see. Differences. This tastes way too clean. This tastes like it should, like water. 
this tastes like like Clorox. If I wanted if I wanted to drink that, I, I would just go in, in the washing room and pour myself a, gla a glass of bleach and drink it. But no, I asked for water. Uh, so the weather here is rainwater. By God. Just don't buy this. Just don't, don't buy smart water at all. I don't know why the bus is still there, but hopefully it'll go away soon. Alright, so the bus left. Ah, oh, let's uh, finish this review. So, where was I? Oh yeah, yeah, smart water. Uh, don't don't buy smart water. It was a waste of money. And let me just check. Yeah. No, okay. So. Remember last week on the Albertsons water where it said if you're not satisfied with the with this bro a product, pr please bring it back with the proof of purchase and you'll be refunded. Well, this doesn't say anywhere on here, so they're they they're kind of ripping you off. You know, I was thinking about returning this, but now that I thoroughly checked, it doesn't say if you're not if the quality wasn't good enough, you can return it. No, they're they're that you know what is it called presumptuous, conscious. You know, when you think you're the best person in the world? Yeah, this is what they are. They think they're everything, but they're not. They're, they're shit. Yeah, don't buy smart water. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, rainwater. Uh, well, you can't buy rainwater, I guess? Well, maybe you could buy a rain dance and produce rainwater. Yeah, just, just go over there and, and buy and be like, hey, can I, can I, can I get a rain dance? And just, just like get your glass of water, and just anytime you need water, just like you know, make them like make a little rain cloud and water disappears. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be more uh, like like a whole rain dance ritual. I'm pretty sure that'd be really expensive. Yeah. Well, you know what? Just just buy distilled water with no electrolytes in it, and I'm pretty sure that tastes just like this. So, so far, this, this beats all the waters I've tasted so far. So this beats Albertsons and, uh... And, uh, the other water I was tasting. What is it called? Oh yeah, City of Tucson water. Yeah, City I live in. Maybe. Um... I don't know, any other news? Oh, not really. I don't know, if you can see what the dog... The dog's there? A dog. Oh, he's just like eating grass or something. I'm pretty sure if I fed him smart water, he would not like it at all. I don't know, maybe I should go ask him. Yeah, the dog told me to, to like. He told me to just get out. He didn't like it. I already asked him. Uh, he said it tastes like it tastes like um. It tastes like apples. Which I guess this makes sense because dogs like to eat shit. So. And I'm pretty sure they don't like apples. So I guess it made sense. 
I'm not sure if you saw that though. I don't know if the ang if the camera had a wide enough angle to see the me feeding the dog uh, smart water. You know, I'm gonna have to go like buy the steak to say sorry because I had to taste that water. All right, so this is it for this week. Rainwater, just just. I can't tell you to buy it because you can't buy away rainwater, but just get a way, like like install a rainwater harvesting system in your in your house, and a and a filter so you can buy it, so you can get this water. Uh, so let's see for next week. I think, yeah, on Thursday, I'll be doing another review. That that's because it's a special review. It's not going to be my, one of my regular reviews. So it's going to be like a bonus bonus review. So instead of, this week instead of instead of one review on Sunday, it's going to be two reviews. One on today, Sunday, the 15th, and another on Thursday. <sighs> Whenever Thursday is this week, I don't know when it is. Like I I would check a calendar, but I don't know, I think calendars are a waste of money. Like, it's, it's 2013, who buys a calendar anymore? Uh, oh, so today I almost ran out of my regular drinking water. And I was this close to drinking smart water, or this water, but then, you know, I thought... It, it wouldn't be honest to the review, because I would already have a bias over the water. So... I guess that's everything for now. If I think of something later, I'll I'll make a video on Monday. Oh yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, God. Get a way to make smart water. No, no, fuck, no. Don't buy smart water. Get a way to manufacture rainwater. Cause you know it's good for you, right? He has no BS. Clear see-through. You know. The best water ever. Oh, yeah. Just buy this water. Or manufacture, I don't know. Obtain rainwater. Alright, that's it for this week. I'll feed his name.